My name is Jeff Johnston and I am the co-founder, owner, operator of uh, Grow and Gather here, or one of the co-founders. And one of the really exciting things that we do here, at least for me, is we're creating something that's never been done before, of truly bringing a urban farm to table, where we have truly have the farming right next to the kitchen and people can um, be involved with the farm is they can see the farming operations while they're having dinner and while they're here um, doing whatever they are in our operation they can actually see us farming and be part of it then developing the concept here of, of how to make that as an efficient model is very that's what's got my most of my attention and then and kind of creating a way to, to make that happen one economically and feasibly and all of the parts of it which is no small challenge part of the story what we have here, in order to be innovative, in order to take advantage of it, um, I had to start with managing and creating a viable farming operation in a very small space um, in order to make this an economical kind of environment. And so in order to do that, we have to maximize every single cubic foot of this growing environment where, where we're sitting right now. And doing that, it meant using every different materials in different ways and creating this vertical environment to grow in because that now takes uh, advantage of the airspace above where a traditional growing environment would be. Doing that it meant combining um, a lot of different traditional methods in completely different ways to include the lighting system which is um, uh, taking lights that were uh, supposed to be kind of traditionally used in a horizontal set and turning them on their side, recreating all the ways that they're attached, hanging them so that they can be suspended and moved and, and putting together with that. Um, working with the, these guys at Kind, they had a product that was durable because one of the problems I have is I have to be able to move these lights around at all times. And so a lot of lights are set up to just be very stationary and I couldn't deal with that in managing the spaces. So that was a huge part of it, um, to balance with the technology. And I had to invent all of this. This is all a creation that the way that they're attached, the way they're hanging, the way the water is distributed, the way the water is circulated, the way the water is monitored and adjusted every single time. It's a, it's a creation that happened in this building, um, specifically for this space, with the mindset that we can expand it and move it to other spaces. But because it's a fully self-contained thing, this recirculating system, hydroponic, with the custom setup. It's, it's, uh, it's fun, it's innovative, it's, it's always an adventure every single day. <laughs> the kind is um, that their lights have been uh, a huge advantage to us, as much for the company and their desire to be innovative with me, um, as as much for uh, the, the lights themselves. I, um, I liked the way that they handled themselves and the way that they put together. A diode is a diode. They're, you know, everybody's kind of blending diodes. But the way that they worked with their, the heat sink and their extrusions, the way that they put it together, and the, their support of uh, an idea that I'm sure the first time I told them about this, they thought that I was out of my mind. Um, but, but they embraced it. You know, from there, all the way from their top engineers, all the way down to their support staff was probably the hugest advantage over a lot of different companies that I ever talked to early on in this stage, um, working with them. It was what set them apart. Yeah, when I was in the process of choosing Kind to pick a lighting company, that I had some criteria that I had in the design that they had to meet, um, number one. and. Um, I for sure, when I was looking into the industry and its, and its development, because my intent was never short term. It wasn't to turn this into a quick turnaround. This was a long term play for me. Um, I knew that LED was the future. So that was the first criteria that it, the company had to be LED. And then I had to have one, an innovative company that was willing to change and adapt and blend with the industry because it was changing drastically. Even since I started this has changed a lot. And then relative to, for me, it was about quality of the, of the entire package. Um, and so that was a, a huge component of why Kind you know, got to the top of the list with it is 
they're, they met all of the, they checked all the boxes. The one thing that I think is most impressive about these lights and the way that we present ourselves here is you can quite literally hear the room behind the glass say ooh or ah when the lights turn on um, for their daily cycle. My name is George Gastus. I'm the founder and one of the owners of Grow and Gather and the feedery restaurant at Grow and Gather. Yeah, in our R&D process and prototyping, we, we utilized um, at least a dozen, if not more, different light uh, systems that would complement what we're doing here with our tower designs. I know working with Kind was, um, they rose to the top, is just very innovative, very collaborative. They worked with us to um, design a light that was, worked very well specifically to our, our grow system, which you see here behind me. Uh, the lighting system we use is, is critical to our uh, hydroponic farming system um, because it's, uh, it not only is sized and specced specifically to our tower growing system that we developed here, uh, but it's also efficient considering how much light we utilize. So it's pretty important that not only they serve the purpose of helping grow the plants, but also made sense economically for us um, and the energy consumption that's used to, to, to operate the system. Thank you.